Can money buy happiness? It certainly can contribute to happiness. It can't buy you happiness. It can't guarantee you happiness. But without enough money, happiness is almost impossible. And the more money you have, the more opportunities and options you have to pursue your values and achieve them that allow for, the, for happiness. I, I'll give you an example. Let's say your spouse gets sick. And let's say the only treatment that exists is very, very expensive and involves flying her to Switzerland to get the treatment. Having the money to do that will buy you happiness. Because without it, you're losing your loved one and you're not going to be happy. With it, you're going to keep your loved one and you will be happy. So money can't guarantee it. Lots of people who have money are not happy. Most people have it who are not happy. But money gives you options. And options give you more control over your environment, more control over the world out there. That's what money represents. Money represents control over your environment. Money represents control over nature, control over disease, control over hurricanes, build a strong house, control over man-made disasters and power outages. You have a generator. So to the extent that money gives you control over nature, it gives you possibilities with regard to happiness that don't exist. And certainly if you don't have any money. So some minimal amount of money is necessary for happiness. And the more of it you have, again, the more control, the more options you have. And therefore, uh, it enhances and contributes, excuse me, to your happiness. What we need today what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you... Even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. Right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. <laughs> 